Hello and welcome to My Aesthetic is Witchy. So in this video here we are going to be doing a summer solstice meditation. So the summer solstice up here in the northern hemisphere marks the longest day of the year, as in the day with the largest amount of light, the shortest night as well. What this means is the beginning of summer. This is the time where the earth has started to heat up and we're now experiencing the warmest time of the year. It does mean that the days will start to get shorter. So whilst it is a time of light, it is a time of summer celebration, it also marks the victory of darkness over light in a constantly moving dance which occurs every year and takes six months to reverse itself. Summer solstice marks the end of Gemini season and the beginning of Cancer season. So this is a time to really get in touch with your emotions. So let us begin. Find a comfortable position, any type of position will do. And then I now invite you to close your eyes or to focus on the screen. So imagine yourself sitting in water, shallow water. The water is still the water is calm. Imagine the sun low in the sky. It could be sunrise or it could be sunset. Either way, the sun's warm orange rays are reflecting off the water around you. Imagine the sensations all around you, the water gently lapping against your skin, the warmth of the sun, not too hot, but warm enough for even if the sun is not up in the midday height, we are still in the summer. Some call it midsummer, others would say it marks the start of summer. But either way, you are feeling warm, you are feeling protected, you are safe in your low water. Much like a, a crab, the sign of cancer loves safety, loves a shell. The crab lives in the shallow waters, in wetlands, in tidal pools. Here the water can roam freely as it is safe and protected. Much like this crab, our sign of cancer also craves that safety, craves the security and comfort of its shell. Cancer is the sign of the home, of domesticity, of family. One of the attributes of cancer is its nurturing nature. Cancer loves nothing better than to look after the people that they love, cook for them, provide for them, make them feel comfortable. Cancer will offer a listening ear should you wish to talk about 
your emotions and your feelings. Cancer is the first water sign, the first sign of emotions, feelings, close intimate relationships. As we enter cancer season, this is now a time to feel your feelings, to embrace your feelings, to accept your feelings. No matter how complex, how strong they may be, Cancer is known as a cardinal sign, the cardinal incarnation of water. What is cardinal? Cardinal means it begins, it initiates, it probes. Within the element of water, this means that cancer is very good at initiating conversations about emotions, about feelings, about well-being. Cancer feels called to take action within the realm of nurturing. This is a time to begin that conversation with ourselves, or with the people we love. We can ask things like, how are you? How are you really? How did that make you feel? What would you like to talk about? How can I help? However, cancer is not necessarily the obvious sign of action. Much like the crab who walk sideways, cancer can be somewhat passive. So whilst it is called to action, it is not necessarily the most obvious form of action. It will dart sideways to get what it wants. It can be subtle, but it can also lead into passive aggression. Cancer can be manipulative because they know your emotions. So in this time of cancer season, let us avoid those traps. Let us go back to those wetlands that we were envisioning that we are in. This should make you feel comfortable. The warmth is strong. The warmth makes you feel happy. The light nurtures you. The light of the, heals you. Now for the rest of this meditation, I will leave you on your own and continue during this time to picture yourself in those wetlands. Imagine the water just slowly healing you. If you feel anything that's fine, just allow it to flow through you like the water.
And thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you really gained a lot from it. If you like this, please do give me a like, leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. And please subscribe and you for more videos like this, more meditation videos. I'm also doing a series on tarot. So if that is interesting to you, then you can find it um, on my channel. And I will be doing more videos on different topics in the future. So thank you very much once again, and I hope you have a lovely summer. Goodbye.